Okay folks, welcome back. This is your old pal Hondo doing another video for you folks on another keyboard. This is on the uh, cheapest keyboard at walmart.com. This is the Surf's On keyboard or O-N-N uh, wire keyboard. They also make one in a wireless keyboard as well. Um, uh, it's not a Logitech or a, maybe a... Uh, a steel keyboard or something like that or a Dell or an HP or an Omen or one of those backlit keyboards but this is a cheap keyboard I'm just gonna use this until I can get me a uh, better keyboard um, I spent ten dollars on this keyboard and uh, um, and I spent ten bucks on the other keyboard and mouse set that I got from uh, from Amazon which was that BTO one that didn't work really at if at all, at all it didn't work um, actually this one is uh, I think it says it has a hundred keys review built-in shortcuts for emails uh, web browse and media player um, full-size keyboard with number pad low profile keys um, 104 keys the basics plug <clears throat> plug in We've got the key to simple typing solutions or USB keyboard low has a low profile design and controlled keys for natural typing experience count connecting is easy just plug in the USB into one of your computer handy USB ports and type away um, features and specs is USB keyboard with cable 5 feet which is longer than the BTO cable on the BTO keyboard which is crap um, full keyboard layout for 104 keys USB plug-in and play I guess let's just plug it in and go PC Mac compatible so it's Compatible with Apple products and PC, which is Microsoft. Um, LED indicator for the number lock. I guess that's over here on the other side. Um, caps lock, scroll lock. That's for the LED light. Um, 17 inch large times 603 with width times. 1073 in high oh. basically it's it's not a non-mechanical keyboard basically see when I was using it I've had it for a few weeks now and uh, there was no uh, miss mistyping it everything that you typed with this keyboard it typed in um, it works really well um, just for w basic web browsing um, that's one of the pros of this keyboard. It does type really well. It's a low profile design. Lightweight. It has those little stand feet in the back. Which adjust the elevation of the uh, keyboard up. Um, uh, pros of it is that it works really well. Just for web browsing and typing. Uh, but I wouldn't rely on this as your primary gaming PC uh, keyboard. Um, I tried it on a few games with the keys. They were kind of slow when it came to responsiveness. When I was gaming, it didn't really work very well. But just for uh, you know, average web browsing, um, it's okay. It works fine. There's no uh, missed keystrokes. That means you know there's no missed typing when you type something out. It actually types out really well. Um, also, what I like about this keyboard is that it's low profile and it's lightweight and it actually works out of the box it works better than the BTO piece of crap I, you could buy this either in Walmart on walmart.com or you could buy this in store at Walmart it's not a bad temporary uh, keyboard but it's not a permanent uh, type of keyboard uh, one thing I didn't like about it was the uh, the paint on the keys were really dim and a low lit 
in low light conditions you won't be able to see the letters poke out very well unless you have a small lamp over your PC to uh, type um, so if that's an issue you may want to get a backlit keyboard to uh, see what you're typing um, it works good but for gaming it's not very uh, good for gaming the keys are all straight and it's kind of hard to you know with your fingers they hit the gaming buttons when you're trying to use this for gaming but uh, let's test it out and show you how it works okay we're gonna try it out on my community community post here sorry for the unprofessionalness <laughs> um, and stability of my camera I can't really help that um, we're gonna try Sam loves to walk on the which we could hold this here and fix that with the spell check which works really well <laughs> um, okay there you go I mean it it doesn't mistype at all. I mean, I could hit every individual key with it. And uh, basically, you're going to get every button that works without any mistyping whatsoever. I'm hitting pretty much every button. And uh, there you go. It works really well. Very responsive. Just for typing and web browsing, it would be good for an office computer. You know, it spaces really well. I mean, it, even if you're just typing out regular stuff, the backspace works good on it. Um, there you go, folks. Yeah, I recommend it for just like casual web browsing, um, just typing to people, you know, just whatever. I mean, casual web browsing, business office computer. Um, the only gripe I have about it, it's not good for gaming. That's the only con about this uh, keyboard. <clears throat> it's not good for gaming, more for a, an office type of uh, computer or web browsing type of computer you don't really care about. But for gaming, it sucks. Um, the key, like I said, the paint on the keys is not all that great. It's hard to see, especially in low light conditions. You may want to opt for something with a better paint on it on the keys um, but for regular web browsing and typing and stuff like that maybe editing video or whatever it's fine with that I mean I have no issue with it it scrolls everything works the uh, you know the page buttons work the page up and down buttons work uh, the home buttons work the letters and number buttons work the F5's the F8's and the escape key the caps lock shift it even has a Windows key. Most of the cheap keyboards don't have a Windows key, which is pretty interesting. Um, I do recommend it. Honestly, it's not bad. If you're looking for a budget um, keyboard to replace a keyboard that you can't afford something expensive, um, and just get something that'll work for you until you can get something expensive, I do recommend it. I think it works fine. Um, it's not the best keyboard in the world, but it works. It's better than nothing. And that's where I'm basically stuck with until I can get a better keyboard. But for a good budget keyboard, it's not bad. Go ahead and pick it up at Walmart.com or pick it up at Walmart in-store. It's where I got it. So I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get it at Walmart.com. I recommend it. I give it like a three. It's not bad. It's not as bad as the Amazon special BTO special, which was a turd. Um, the BTO mouse is making a rattling noise so I'm gonna have to get a new mouse this mouse here sucks it doesn't have a long enough cord you know it is what it is well folks if you like this video please hit the like share and subscribe on this video if you like this keyboard if you don't hit the dislike but it's not a bad keyboard it's not the best keyboard I've ever used but it's not bad it's better than the BTO crap special that I bought um, y'all know what you can do you put God first, he puts you first every time, and you know what else, YouTube? God loves you, so does Hondo. Peace out, YouTube.